Hey, what's up, everyone? To watch this video here for Thursday, October 3rd. Um, usually I start with the spies. So let me do that real quick. Um, another ugly day. We had this ugly candle yesterday. We got another one today. Um, pretty nice support down in this area that's also right at the 200 day. So, I mean, if we get another down day, I love this area for a bounce in the SPY and probably a bounce in many stocks. Um, in this crazy market, you never know. It might gap up huge tomorrow. You never know, right? But uh, certainly a beaten up market in the short term. And most of you in chat know I'm working on some new, what I call uh, future A plus setups for the revamp of the uh, trading course that we're going to do in January. And I'm working on a pretty interesting idea for some uh, weak stocks afternoon bounce plays. Um, uh, a couple examples today. Weight Watchers, really, really beaten up. Called it long, 32.34, right, somewhere right about there. Right about there, and look at that move. Um, Boeing, kind of a quiet entry, 365.45, somewhere right about here. Notice both of them green right away after the trigger. Uh, da, 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 there was another one too. Um, anyway, that's, that's two of the bounce plays. Um, Chewy, called CHWY, right over 23 here. That was not a bounce, but it was a whole number inflection point. Well, it was a bounce play based on the daily. If you look at the daily chart, remember I said it was getting ahead of itself, looking for a snap. It couldn't have set up much better, honestly. Opening at a whole number, gapping down. So then we had a cup and handle intraday. Now we have a whole number inflection point break and a gap down bounce play set up, all coinciding right there. And uh, we got over a dollar move out of that one on approximately 20 cents risk. Probably worth watching tomorrow, by the way, with that nice green candle. I actually don't have it on the list, but I probably should. I'll have it on a chart somewhere. Um, and a call by Wayne, for those of you that weren't there. Overstock is really, really beaten up. Has good support at 10. It's gotten there pretty quickly. Switching to five minute candles, so it gaps down. Wayne called it long over that 10 seller right there. Look at that, another one. Green right away, never looks back. Um, had a nice move to almost 11. So some really good trades today, all long trades in a really ugly take. So it just proves you know, that there's almost always something to trade if you have a kind of a quiver of A plus setups, right? What are we watching for tomorrow? Uh, VHC, big move today and a strong close. We're gonna look for a follow through day there. Remember, I do not hold anything overnight. Um, so these are just stocks that might give me a trade tomorrow, all right? Um, Weight Watchers, that is not one of them, sorry, PRPO. PRPO, um, another red day, but the market was really weak. We've been watching this for a bounce, and it's almost round trip, which makes me like it a lot less, but then it's getting some after hours activity, trading at 243-ish, so maybe even yeah, right around today's high in after hours. I didn't even check, but the assumption is there's probably some news in after hours, and after this big pop, what, like five days ago? This one is certainly worth watching. It's made some nice moves. Um, American Airlines, AAL, a uh, pretty ugly candle today. Now, when I'm looking for something to bounce, I'd really like it to visit the recent low. So I'd like a morning sell-off, and I'll be looking to get long, again, using one of our methods, you know, right around this price here, this recent low. Um, so that's one worth watching. Herbalife, HLF, pretty beaten up. A another one I would like to come down here around 34 in the morning, um, or even some, you know, even if it takes a couple hours to get there, be looking for a bounce in that area, just for day trades. Uh, Ameritrade, AMTD, another red day after gapping down, goes on bounce watch. Boeing, um, the reason I like Boeing is it's down four days in a row and it's hitting the 200 day uh, today and the 50 day. The green line is actually a 60 EMA, but it's, it's pretty close to the 50 day. So you've got the 50 day and the 200 day converging right here and it's fallen four days in a row to get there. Um, I think that one might continue the little uh, afternoon bounce it had tomorrow. Um, Schwab, another broker, oh, type that right, SCHW. Uh, this one, you know, almost off a cliff down. I like this around or below 36 for a bounce. Uh, a few more, SSI goes back on bounce watch, huge move. Now we've got three days lower um, into that buy zone. We wanna watch that one uh, overstock because of what I just said. Nice bounce off the $10 area and a nice green candle on strong volume and a fairly strong close, I guess, all things considered how weak the market was. We're gonna watch that one and CFMS uh, had this big pop yesterday. Today, a nice inside day, closing near its highs. Pretty good setup for a long trade tomorrow. That's all I've got. We'll see you all in chat tomorrow. Have a good night.